Coast Guard Zodiacs at our fingertips. But full disclosure, this team's got a bit of an attitude problem, all right? A little battle of leadership going on in here, all right? Sure, they got their center console skiffs, but they went through a lot of coaches in the process. Monday details, boys. We want a twin engine jet boat. We want that cruise ship. That's the attitude, Pylon. Now get in there. All right. Go, oh, go, oh, I'm just sorry. Oh, I'm, what the? Oh, yeah. What are you two doing? Sorry, boys. Ladies. We didn't know you were ladies, boys. Uh, not lady boys. We didn't know you were ladies. You think the door is open to everyone here? Just because Marianne looks like she's homeless doesn't mean you can treat it like a shelter. Fuck you, Betty Ann. But she's right. Doors don't open to everybody here. Just because her mitt looks like the back of Christ's head doesn't mean you can treat it like a church. Fuck you, Marianne. Your mitt looks like Babe Ruth's ball glove from the dirty 30s if 20 more dudes spat chewing tobacco in it. Your mitt's actually a work of art, Betty Ann. Like Salvador Dali's melting clocks. But instead of melting clocks, it's melting salad bowls of off-pink ice cream. Hmm. I love ice cream, Marianne. I love all frozen treats. Your mitt looks like I squeezed a cherry red popsicle with a handful of dryer lint. Meet your new team, pheasants. What's your name, buddy? What's this about a name change? If anybody should change their names, it should be us. What the hell's a shamrock at anyway? A leaf with tits? Oh, this isn't your matriarch, is it? You can't just add et to the end of the men's team and expect women to like it. We should change our names to something fierce and feminine and powerful. Like the screaming banshees. That's good, Marianne. Impressive creativity. Couple of hens clucking away. Especially for a girl who had to start kindergarten two years late because she couldn't grasp coloring. I have plenty of good ideas, Betty Ann. Like convincing your dad to get a vasectomy so I wouldn't have to worry about another you coming into the world while I fucked him. We were just starting to get them under control. You're screwing it up, bro. You're getting them all fired up again. Bringing family into it now, Marianne, I would never stoop so low. Especially with the recent passing of your mother, who told me before she died that my dad is your dad, too. You're fucking up our progress, man. Just get out of here. It's only gonna get worse, too. Thanks a lot. You saw how these tumblerinas have lost the plot anyway. Letter Kenny Chiefs! Letter Kenny Chiefs! We're coming in! It's a cover up! Okay, girls. Girls? That's what I said. Who are you calling girls? Uh, uh oh. Uh, no, we mean women. Yes, mm -hmm. that is my bad. I am sorry. It is an old habit. See, we call the men on our team boys, so I just... It's completely inappropriate. Okay. Marianne over there is not a girl. When's the last time you saw a girl's tit sag so low she could tuck them into her joggers? You're right, Betty Ann. To call us girls is wildly inappropriate. Look at you. When's the last time you saw a girl with enough pubic hair to lose her keys in, along with the Boynt Canadian tire keychain? Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. Uh... Ladies. Yes, we ladies. I'm even more offended by that. Tell me how Marianne's a lady. Her Jill strap's got more skid marks than a runaway truck lane on a coastal mountain highway. Yes, I'm afraid you guys missed the mark again. Betty Ann's no lady. She picks and flicks more boogers than a restless Dutch eight-year-old with Asperger's. Well done, Marianne. You're unpredictably articulate for a girl who waves goodbye to her pee when she flushes the toilet. You want to talk about unpredictable, Betty Ann? Who would have thought the girl who ingested mosquito eggs after drinking out of mud puddles would ever almost be accepted to community college? Riley, Jonesy, get out here. Okay. Ladies. Women. It has come to our attention that there may be a young man who has come between you girls. I mean. How do you mean? Well, Betty Ann, Mary Ann. We were told that you may be going for the same guy. Or, or that the same guy may be going for both of you. Impossible. How do you mean? The last guy that was into Marianne was the priest at Catholic school in grade six. And only because he thought she was a boy. Well done, Betty Ann. Catholic school, grade six. Isn't that the same year you got the nickname Fisted Sister? Which you gave yourself? Ladies. Women. And a fitting nickname it was, Betty Ann. Your mitt looks like a boa constrictor unhinged its jaw in an effort to consume a combat submarine. Speaking of consumption, your mitt looks like the drooping jowls of a Sharpe with palsy and a water wing in its mouth. Your mitt looks like the back of Kelsey Grammer's head circa Frasier 94, if the cast each autographed his bald spot with multicolored lipsticks. Your mitt has more spiderwebs than a no doubt set list, Marianne. Betty Ann, your mitt is so dusty I can hear it singing Son of a Preacher Man. We gotta go to the source, buddy. It's our only hope, buddy. Fair enough. Hey, fucker. 
Rogers or those twats. Give your balls a tug. There's a lot on the line here, Shorzy. Hey, want to talk about lines, you fucking loser? I woke up to your mom ripping dick dingers off my foreskin. Tell her to keep her hands off my scoops. Fuck you, Shorzy. Fuck you, Jonesy. I made your mom come so hard they made a Canadian Heritage Minute out of it and Don McKellar played my dick. Mm. Fuck you, Shorzy. Fuck you, Riley. I made your mom so wet, Trudeau deployed a 24-hour infantry unit to stack sandbags around my bed. Fuck you, Shorzy. Fuck you both. Your lives are so fucking pathetic. I ran a charity 15K to raise awareness for it, you fucking losers. <laughs> 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 Oh! <laughs>